Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very, very highly requested video. A lot of people ask me to film this on my Instagram and it is an autumn capsule wardrobe. So I've just basically put together my absolute essentials I think everyone should have in their wardrobe for this time of year. I have managed to compile it down to 20 pieces altogether and that includes shoes. So 20 pieces that to be honest, if you own all of these, you will never not have anything to wear. You can't not have anything to wear. I really love capsule wardrobes. For me, I really like investing in more basic, minimal, less trendy items. One, they're more sustainable, and two, they last so long. If you invest in a really good staple piece and put it in your wardrobe, you can bring it out year on year. Don't get me wrong, I love the odd trend piece here and there. Sometimes I can't resist, and I'm not saying that you should live your life just with a capsule wardrobe, because sometimes you just want to treat yourself. You know, if you like those green snake print leather trousers, treat yourself, go for it. Don't limit yourself. If there is a trend piece you want, you deserve it, go, treat yourself. But this is more just for the everyday, simple capsule sort of styling. Just as an FYI as well, I am going to link everything that I'll show here in the description box, but as it is a capsule wardrobe, some of these pieces aren't from this year, some of them are from last year, some of them from previous years. As I said, capsule wardrobe, the good thing about the pieces are you can just keep bringing them out year on year. So as I said, some pieces are old, but I will try to find them if they are st still available. If not, then I'll link something super similar because the good thing about these pieces is that you can always find something super similar online. So with that being said, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, I'm just going to kick it off with trousers. I think that's the easiest way to do it, just to separate into categories. So let's start with the bottom half and we'll start with trousers. First up, my favourite trousers to wear this time of year, absolute staple, and it is some leather skinny trousers. Honestly, I just love them. They go with so many things. They just add, I think, a little bit of sass to an outfit. So yes, you can wear your black normal skinny jeans, but sometimes when you've got just a big chunky jumper and you wanna just add a little bit of edge and a little bit of sass, leather trousers, they're just unreal. I love them. And I always, I am guarantee I always end up investing in another pair year on year. So these ones are from H&M. These ones are new. These ones are from this year. They've actually still got the tag on them. I haven't worn them out yet. And um, these are actually from an upcoming haul that will be on my channel soon. So I haven't actually worn them outside the house, hence why the tag is still on them. However, I have tried them on. I am keeping them. So that's why I thought I'd show them you in this haul. Just such a good item to have. They go with so much. I love wearing these with chunky oversized jumpers, some chunky boots, a nice jacket. Just such a good piece to have and definitely a staple in a capsule wardrobe. Another pair of trousers I feel like everyone needs in a capsule wardrobe are some straight leg blue jeans. These are honestly my ride or die jeans. Straight leg jeans are so good because they're flattering on every single shape. If you are more curvy they really balance out your figure. What straight leg jeans do is they give the illusion that when you wear straight leg jeans on the bottom your top half is automatically smaller. That is the illusion so if you are on the more curvy side they're really good for balancing you out. On the flip side if you are on the more petite side or of a more straight athletic figure or even someone that does struggle with their weight, as in with gaining weight, these are really, really good because again, they're really balancing. So when you wear them on the bottom half, it makes you look like you have more shape than you actually do. I am quite, how would I describe it? Twiggy. So I don't really have curves necessarily. I mean, I do have curves. I have you know, I have boobies and hips, you know, anatomically, but they're not the biggest, so I don't look particularly curvy. I look quite straight up and down, like a twiglet. Um, I don't really have a bum either, but straight leg jeans really give the illusion that you are more shapely than you might be. So straight leg jeans, I really love the blue, just for a little bit of, as you can see, this isn't a very colourful rail, so I feel like I get my pop of colour in blue jeans. So these ones are from H&M, these ones are from this year. They're actually from my last H&M haul that was on my channel, and I know a lot of you went on to buy these uh, and really love them as well. So I will link them again in this video because I think these are just great. Okay, next, and it is just some really basic black high waist skinny jeans you just can't go wrong can you really black skinny jeans to go with absolutely everything sometimes leather leggings or leather trousers aren't 
always appropriate. For example, if you've got a leather jacket you want to wear, but you want an all black outfit, sometimes leather jacket, leather trousers, it's a bit too much. So black, skinny jeans, staple, really good basic throw on. These ones are super high waisted by the way. These ones are from Misguided, I really love. They are actually called super high waisted on the website. And the reason I love these is because they're so soft and stretchy around the waist. They don't feel like you're gonna, they're gonna cut you in half. Really, really comfortable. Some skinny jeans, they literally feel like you can't breathe and can't move. These aren't gonna make you feel ill after you eat a meal. You're not gonna be popping out of places you don't wanna pop out. So I really recommend these from Misguided. Really inexpensive, but they last as well. These have been washed. I mean, these are, I think these are actually from last year, but they do still have them on the website. I'm pretty sure they were like 20 quid and they've lasted me so, so well. Okay, onto the final pair of trousers in my capsule wardrobe. And it's gotta be a pair of gray joggers. Sometimes you just want to be comfortable, sometimes you've just got stuff to get done, sometimes you just need to run errands, throw on something super comfortable and just be done with it. And a pair of simple grey joggers, I, I live in these in autumn and winter. You don't necessarily have to look like you just rolled out of bed in them. I think these teamed with like a white bodysuit, leather jacket or even a hoodie, leather jacket trench coat you can really dress up joggers so they don't look quite so casual but obviously they're still super comfortable so hence why i've put them in here and i think in the color gray as well again it's a very neutral palette at least with gray it's a bit different from your blue jeans and your black jeans so yeah a good basic gray pair of joggers okay and next up i am not really a skirts kind of person i don't really wear them long or short they're not my thing so i haven't included any skirts in this haul because it's just me personally number one i don't actually own one so i couldn't actually physically show you any and number two it's just not me i'm not a fan However, something that I do really recommend for everyone for a capsule wardrobe is a really good pair of faux leather shorts. These are, honest, I've had these for two years now. So these are from ASOS. I'm not sure if they're still online, but I'm sure I could find some similar to Link. They're like a paper bag style. So they're quite baggy around the leg and obviously a tie waist. Faux leather, so comfortable. The leather's really, really soft. And I just chuck these on with so many outfits. These are amazing for when you get a really warm autumn day. So wearing this with a nice t-shirt, some chunky boots, still having your legs out so you're not too hot, but still feeling quite autumn winter because of the black leather. I just think these are such a staple. And I'm not gonna lie, I really do find it hard to find a good pair that I really love the fit of. But once you've got them, they are amazing. And as I said, I rinse these every year i get these back out and i haven't found a better pair than these ones in my hand right now so i'm really hoping i can find a good pair to link as i said these are asos i'm praying they bring them back this year because i wouldn't mind just adding another pair to my collection because i'm scared that these aren't going to last if you're also into wearing tights you could easily pair these with these as well i personally don't wear tights but if you do then these will go under the shorts perfectly uh, you can also really dress these shorts up I've actually wore these out for a couple of uh, dinners and drinks. So you can easily just put on a nice bodysuit and some heels and it's just another way to wear them. So yeah, a good pair of leather shorts. Okay, moving on to tops and I've pretty much just tried to cover like all bases. So I'm gonna start off with a basic short sleeved bodysuit. This is the classic bodysuit from Zara. I feel like everyone has these Zara bodysuits in their wardrobes now. They are just such a staple and so good for this time of year. For when it's a little hot day like it is today, it's like 24 degrees today, so it's quite warm here in the UK. That is warm for the UK. So if you want to have your arms out, you don't want to be too covered up, these bodysuits are absolutely perfect. They're also really great for base layering, so if you like to wear something under your sort of knitwear in case it's itchy or that sort of thing, these are really good just to pop on underneath. And obviously you can really dress them up, you can wear heels with them. I just think these are so, so versatile, so comfortable. Get them in any colour, I'm just showing you the black one, but honestly you could just wear these in any colour for this time of year. I just recently purchased a brown one, which I'm so excited to wear. Okay, and sticking with bodysuits, I've had to put in a basic long-sleeved bodysuit. I know some people um, don't really like exposing the tops of their arms, um, and some people just prefer having their arms covered up, so this is perfect. And I actually think this is probably more suitable for autumn because 
Although we do have the random warm day, most of the time it's not that warm. So I went for a long sleeve bodysuit. Again, have these in any colour. I'm just showing you this simple white one. This one is from Misguided. It is a new purchase. But you just can't be a, a good basic bodysuit. Again, you can wear them under your knitwear if it's really cold. But I just really love teaming these with um, my mom jeans or even the skinny leather trousers. I think they look really, really nice. And even with the joggers, I feel like everything that I'm showing you, um, you can put together any way you like because everything goes with everything, to tell you the truth. Okay, next up, and I've had to include this because I just get so much wear out of mine. And it is a simple black t-shirt. You just can't go wrong in autumn with a black t-shirt um, I was really tempted to put a white tee in here because I do wear my white one a lot but if I'm being completely honest black is just more autumn winter and again everything that I've shown here you can pair a black t-shirt with I personally tend to go for an oversized t-shirt that has quite even though it's short sleeved it does have quite long sleeves so these sleeves do come down to about my elbow which I just think is super flattering really boxy you'll see in the cutaway how this fits it's just a really good base layer to have looks really elegant underneath uh, coats and jackets it's just a really good basic simple thing to have in your wardrobe is there ever really an occasion where you can't wear a black t-shirt okay next up on tops I hope you can see that I'm trying to move it along in each category for as the days go colder, if that makes sense. So I've shown you my short sleeves, so onto long sleeves, and it is just a long sleeved high neck top. So basically a turtleneck top. I think these are so good, especially for work and for the office. These teamed with some black trousers are just the absolute best. I feel like you can get these in an array of colours this time of year. They always look good, they always look smart, and they're not too thick, so you're not going to sweat to death. So you can just wear these on their own. You can even put a jumper over the top of them if you wanted to. But I do really think they are a staple. This one that I'm showing you now is from Zara. Zara bring them out year on year. And I think this is from, yeah, this is from last year. So I'm just showing you my grey one. I do have this in white and black. However, I thought I had a lot of black and white in on the rail, so I thought I'd show you a grey one. And next up from the tops category, it is a hoodie. It might look quite fluffy on camera. I did wear this under like a fluffy coat the other day, so sorry if you can see lots of fluff on there. You just can't beat a hoodie, really, can you? Hoodies, I absolutely love for more casual looks. Teaming them underneath coats, underneath your leather jackets, your trench coats. I just feel like they really make an outfit look more casual, more comfortable, and really, you can have a hoodie in any colour, let's be honest. I tend to go for the more neutral colours, shock, so I've got a hoodies in black, white, I've got my eye on a cream coloured one from H&M, couldn't get it the other day, it's sold out, but anyway, I have got my eye on other ones. But yeah, a really simple black hoodie, really good for throwing on with joggers when you just need to rush out, leather leggings you can pair this with your mom jeans you could even put your shorts on your trench coat i just feel like hoodies are so versatile for this time of year a really good throw on piece okay and now i'm just going to move on to knitwear because i've just got two pieces to show you i just wanted to separate knitwear and tops i don't know why i just did but i just think there's like two types of knitwear that you can have for autumn so i'm going to show you it's basically thin and thick first up thin knitwear really good for when it's warm outside but you kind of want to be covered you still want to look autumny so i had to go with this lovely v-neck jumper from h&m this is from my latest h&m haul i know a lot of you really loved this as well it is so comfortable it's not itchy it's so soft and cozy but it's not too thick it is quite thin which i like for autumn because like i said we get these random warm days we never know what the weather's going to be, so you could easily wear a coat over this, and if you're too hot, jack it off. You're still quite covered up, but you're not going to sweat to death. So I love a nice thin knit. You can even, I mean, depending on where you work, you could probably even get away with wearing this for work. You could easily pop a shirt on underneath this as well. So versatile. I personally love how this looks with my blue mom jeans. There's just something about it. I think this colour with blue jeans just looks so, so nice. 
So yeah, a good thin knit. And then the other knitwear is just a classic thick knitted jumper. I've gone for a turtleneck because just classic. You can't beat a turtleneck. When we get our very, very cold days, I just think a turtleneck jumper does the job. You can put your base layers on underneath, your bodysuits, your t-shirts. You can wear it with your shorts, wear it with your jeans, your leather leggings. You can put your jackets over the top of them. Just really good for keeping you warm, keeping your neck covered. No cold is going to get you when you've got this on. I just think it's an absolute essential in anyone's wardrobe. This one's from Misguided. I believe it's called their Boyfriend Knit Jumper. It was so popular. This is from last year. And it was so popular last year. I remember when I put it on my Instagram stories, so many people went and bought it. But it is just an absolute classic. And I've got so much wear out of it. Um, it's probably seen better days, to be honest, because I have knocked this about. I have wore it a lot. So I'm probably going to invest in some new pieces as we get into the colder months. But I think it's well worth putting in like an autumn wardrobe because you just never know, especially in the UK. One day it's 23 degrees, the next day it's minus one. You really can't call it. So always worth popping in your wardrobe. Okay, so we've gone through all the tops, the trousers, the knits. So that basically brings me on to shoes and then I'm gonna save the coats till last. So for autumn, I pretty much live in four different types of shoes which is why I've included them all in this capsule wardrobe. I just think you can't go wrong. If you own these shoes, you'll never not have any shoes to pair with any of these outfits that I've shown you. So I'm gonna start off with my favorite style of shoes to wear in autumn ever, and that is a chunky boot. I mean, chunky boots just really do get their wear when they're in my wardrobe. I just think they look so nice, they're so comfortable. I really like these because I like how high they come up the leg. These have got a zip on the inside. These are from Misguided. These are from my latest Misguided haul. Um, but I'm not going to lie, I do have quite a little collection of chunky boots because I do just live in them. I think these look really nice with leather shorts. They look amazing with the leather leggings, the mom jeans. They're just so versatile and I just love them. I I'm not going to lie, they're probably my most worn thing this time of year. So yeah, a good, flat, chunky boot. And then keeping with the boots theme, um, I think it's important to have just some versatility in your wardrobe. I know it's a capsule wardrobe, but you know, you need things for every occasion. So I've put in a heeled boot as well. These ones are new. These ones are from H&M this year. Again, last H&M haul I included these. Really good for if you're going out maybe for dinner, uh, maybe some drinks in winter where you want to still be wrapped up and still be covered and warm. You don't want to wear your heels, you want boots. And you know, sometimes chunky boots just aren't appropriate. Sometimes the occasion calls for a little heel. So I think just getting a really nice pair of heeled ankle boots at this time of year, you cannot go wrong. You can wear them for so many occasions. These ones, by the way, from H&M, oh my God, so comfortable. I was wearing these all day the other day, walking around Nottingham, um, and I think it was the, it was like the second time I'd ever worn them, and oh my god, these ones were so comfortable. So I felt really smart, really nice in my boots, but it's also just a bonus the fact that they're so comfortable. So yeah, a good pair of heeled ankle boots. Okay, next up in the shoes, and I had to include these because I think they're so perfect for work, and they are some flat loafers. Sometimes you just want to be comfy, you just need to be smart. I would happily wear the ankle boots to work, but I know some people prefer to be uber comfortable, flat shoes, and these are just amazing. These look so, so nice with like the blue mom jeans, a nice knitted jumper. Um, and I quite like these ones because they kind of remind me of the Gucci ones. They're definitely not the Gucci ones. These ones are from Misguided, but they kind of remind me of that. And because they are quite classic looking with the gold detail and the fact that they're black, they just look very classic. These aren't ever really gonna go out of style. You can throw these on with jeans, trousers, and you'll always just look quite put together. I just think they're really good, especially if you want a nice comfy flat shoe for work. And then finally, a good old white chunky trainer. I live in chunky trainers and I get so many questions about these ones on my Instagram. So these are from Knockwall. Um, they're so comfortable. If you like the look of like the Balenciaga Triple S's and that kind of style, you know, the really big chunky trainers, then I really recommend these. They've got a really big solid heel. 
um, which is really, really cushioned. So when you walk, honestly, I feel like I'm wearing slippers when I wear these. And I wear these so much. You can probably see on camera, they're not the cleanest. I'm not that person that keeps their trainers uber white. I don't like it. I'd rather my trainers look a little bit more worn. So yeah, a good pair of white chunky trainers this time of year. You're always gonna wear them. Everyone needs comfy trainers just to throw on. Okay, on the home stretch now. So I've got four more pieces left to show you of my 20 piece capsule wardrobe. So we are on to jackets and coats. Probably my favorite category because I just love my coats this time of year. So I'm gonna start off with a simple black blazer. Just an absolute classic piece in everyone's wardrobe. I really do enjoy wearing a blazer. For me personally, I prefer to dress blazers down. I really love wearing a hoodie underneath a blazer with some jeans, but obviously you can really easily dress them up as well. They look really nice with leather leggings over a bodysuit um, and some ankle boots or some heels. And then it's easily a piece that you can obviously wear out for dinner, for drinks. So a good basic black blazer, I just think is so essential in everyone's wardrobe. Um, this one is from Missy Empire. Uh, my other one is actually out being cleaned at the moment. I had a bit of an accident with it, but it's okay. But my other one that I wear most of the time um, on my Instagram, a big sort of boxy one, is actually a men's blazer and it's from Marks and Spencers. So yeah, don't write off like looking in the men's section. Clothes don't have a gender, do you know what I mean? You're not gonna be walking around in a blazer and have a sign on your back saying this is from the men's section. So don't be afraid to like branch out and look at men's blazers. I personally prefer them because I find that they tend to make a man's blazer a lot more boxy, a lot more sort of padded on the shoulders. And just how I prefer my blazers to look, I don't understand why more women's blazers aren't like that. But yeah, I would always invest in some good blazers. As I said, mine is from Marks and Spencers. Don't ask why, but when you see a good blazer, you just gotta get one, whether it's in the men's, women's, or dog's section, I don't care. If it looks good, it looks good, that's all that matters. And then, in terms of coats, I think I bang on about these kind of coats all the time, but it's a trench coat. I love a trench, it is no secret, I grab mine out every single year. This year, I treated myself to this new one. This one is from Zara. Um, this one actually has like a pleated detail at the back. It looks so nice. So it's got, it's a little bit different looking to just a normal regular trench. And so, so lovely for this time of year because they're not too thick, so you're not gonna be too hot in them. And they just make any outfit look a lot more put together. If you get a trench in a classic color like this, they just go with absolutely everything. There is not a single thing on this rail that you couldn't throw a trench coat over and not look good. So I definitely recommend for autumn a really good trench coat. I really love buying mine. Always from Zara, um, Mango, H&M actually have had some really nice ones this year as well. But I just went for my classic Zara this year and I'm so happy with this one. Love the colour of this. Um, I do also oversize in my trenches. You can get trench coats that are really quite fitted, but then I find if you wear them over the top of like a hoodie or a jumper, they can be a bit restrictive. So I would always recommend as well sizing up in a trench coat. And then for the last but one item in this capsule wardrobe, it is absolute classic leather jacket. I know it sounds really sad, but I get so excited every autumn to get my leather jacket back out. I love wearing them. I love how they look. I feel so nice when I wear a leather jacket. It just does something for me. I love, love, love leather jackets. This one I treated myself to this year. Um, it's not come back into stock. Last time I checked, it wasn't in stock on H&M, but it was just, it was a bit of a splurge. This one was 140 pound, I think. Yeah, 140 pound. Little bit of a splurge, but as I said, it's part of the capsule wardrobe, you know? So I think if you're gonna treat yourself or spend money on items, rather than going down the route of looking at trend pieces, try and stick to your capsule wardrobe because then you know you're gonna get so much wear out of it year on year. It's all well and good buying, I don't know, your yellow gilet that everyone else is wearing. But let's be honest, when it comes to everyday pieces, you're gonna wear, you're gonna get so much more wear out of your black leather jacket. 
Um, but yeah, and I always tend to oversize in leather jackets as well. I don't like them to be fitted. However, this one from H&M was already oversized, so I did just stay true to size and get a small. But yeah, classic leather jacket. And then finally, the last piece in my 20 piece capsule wardrobe. This is for those days when it's autumn, but it feels like winter, it's freezing, you need a thick coat to put on, and it is a long, formal coat. I can't even get this fully in screen because it's so long, but these coats are just my fave. Perfect to transition from autumn to winter on those really cold days. Really smart looking, you can wear them for work, you can dress them down, put hoodies underneath them. Really comfortable, love how they look. This one again from H&M. Honestly, H&M killing it with their autumn winter stuff, absolutely killing it. This one is actually from last year. I always get so many questions on this. They do have a super, super similar one on there now. So I will link that in the description box. It looks pretty much identical to this one, I'm not gonna lie. So I will link that. You just can't be a gorgeous, formal, like long coat, any occasion. And they really are worth investing in. Um, I believe this one was about £110 last year. When it comes to coats and jackets, I think that's a really good place to spend your money. Think of it this way, they're on the outside of your outfit. They're the first thing that people see when they see your outfit in winter or autumn. And I just think it's really worth investing in them. I don't mind spending money when it comes to a good coat. As I said, this one's from last year. I already know I'm gonna be living it this year. As I said, H&M have a really similar coat. I'm not gonna buy it because this one is just doing fine for me. So yeah, a good, long, formal coat. That's everything, guys. That is my full 20-piece autumn, fall, whatever you call it, capsule wardrobe. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video helped you if you're not sure on what pieces to buy, or maybe you're wanting to cut down on your wardrobe, maybe you're having a clear out, you're not sure what things you wanna keep, get rid of. I really hope this has helped you. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed filming this actually. It's been quite therapeutic to actually put all my pieces together as a capsule and be able to physically see, yes, okay, these are the things I wear the most this time of year. I really hope you enjoyed the video guys, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.